like I said, this is a teachable moment. If you a young dude in this street and all the women you coming across is talking about money or all the women you coming across seem to be like not valuing themselves, right? Let's say you meet a woman and you have morals and integrity about what you want to do in life and she don't necessarily have that. That's not a bad reflection on you. You know what I mean? That's based on her and who she was raised around. And at the same time, all women aren't like that. So if you constantly are meeting women who have low expectations or um, aren't integral people, then you got to start looking at your surroundings. Like, where the hell am I meeting these women at? What is it about me that's making them come at me like that? You see what I'm saying? Because there are no absolutes in the universe. Please understand that. Black family, we get everything fucked up when we speak in absolutes. There are no absolutes in the universe. Yes, there are black women in art, and I was trying to bring this point home to my young cousin. There are black women in our community that abuse this system. There are black women in, this, in our community who abuse the system to take advantage of men. There are black women in our community that, that don't mean us no good. But that's every community have pariahs. Every community have, have people, have individuals that don't necessarily mean that community no good. But when it comes to black folks, I can't. The reason why I don't come down on my sisters hard, right? Other, some black men do like my little cousin was doing. I don't respect that shit because you have to factor in everything we've been through. The black woman is probably the most haunted. She's, she's probably the most sought after individual in our country. Meaning, she not just, she, she not she only don't have to deal with being black in America, but she has to deal with being a woman in America. So she has to deal with sexism and racism. And from the beginning of time, since we got here, our women have been getting beaten. Our women have been getting raped. Black women coming up missing. You see what I'm saying? Now, granted, you always have to factor in the personal accountability of our community. Like how as men, we need to treat our women a certain way. As men, we need to make sure our women are taken care of. We need to make sure our families are taken care of, right? But how do we get to that place? Right. Do we get to that place by saying, I see all the dysfunction. So fuck all these women. I'm going fuck with a Mexican. This is what he's telling me. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get clear with the brother. Is this a conversation about love or hate? If it's a conversation about hate, then I don't want to have nothing to do with this shit. You see what I'm saying? If I'm talking to a black man who love us, but is trying to figure out what he's looking at, trying to figure out the best way to go about building a black family, that's one thing. But if you want some coon shit where you basically say the system of white supremacy ha has ruined my community, and because of that, I don't like what I see, so I'm going to run off and be with a Mexican woman or an Asian woman. Let me tell you something. My nigga. I don't respect that shit at all. Like any black man that got that mentality, there's no space.